Let's talk about Alex Jones. Oh, my God. Alex Jones. You know what? Where do we, where do we begin? I like the guy. He's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah. But I don't think he wants to be just hilarious. No, he's Joe got Rogan his niche. digs uh, Alex Jones, but even he admitted recently on our show that, you know. Look, he's got his niche. I think Alex Jones isn't as crazy as he comes off on the air, but he saw what makes him successful. I think we said he runs with it. somewhere between 10 and 20% of what he says, it makes you think, like, oh. Yeah. But it's that 80 to 90%. I'll say 80%. Yeah. 80%, you're like, holy fuck, this dude. This guy's batshit crazy. You got to relax a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he was on uh, Piers Morgan last night. This was some of the best TV I've seen in a long time. Fucking wouldn't let Piers talk. Got, finally shut that fucking limey cocksucker up. Uh, I got to give a little credit to Piers Morgan. Well, you got to give him a little credit. A little credit. <laughs> what did he do there, Robbie? He didn't lose his mind. Up in here, up in here. He was very <laughs> calm, cool, collected. Yes. And just yes. let uh, Alex Jones l lose his fucking mind. Go off? Yeah, I think a lot of people would have lost their mind back to Alex Jones. That's true. Uh, anyway, they were discussing, I guess, gun control. And, and Alex Jones is the one trying to get Piers Morgan out of the country? Yeah, he started the petition. Yeah. He was the one, okay. Which has well over 100,000 uh, signatures. Well, and apparently, uh, Alex Jones was all wound up because on the flight going to be on the Piers Morgan show. Uh, the TSA uh, pulled him aside and um, gave him some shit. For what reason? Because he's Alex Jones. That's what he's, he's saying. And he's always against the TSA and all that happy horse shit. And, and he said that people were being let through with their shoes on. And he was then asked to remove his shoes. And he brought up the fact that he said, hey, look, other people are going through. And they said, no, it's just the elderly and young people. He goes, no, I saw people in their 40s being let through with their shoes. And they said, take the fucking shoes off or we're going to arrest right. you. He's, he was the problem. You yeah. Know? He was the problem. Because the well, people whatever. going through the TSA hmm. has a thing you can apply for on yeah. the website where you can be like a pre-check almost, where uh, I guess they do a tremendous security check on you. It takes a while. To, I, yeah. I've gone through a few times where you can go through with your shoes. Your laptop can stay in your bag. There's a certain line, a uh -huh. TSA cleared line. It's like fly clear, what that used to yep, be. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's creepy. Well, that's how, <clears throat> wouldn't the terrorists know that shit and, yeah. and figure yeah, out but the you, workaround? There's a real secure, a background check like a before you get to the airport. Check. Yeah. It's like a real background check. Yeah, but then how about you, you, you went crazy in between the... the sure. You but, you know, the, the, the background check and your flight. Well, you're still getting checked, but you just can... Little little things like you can leave your, your light jacket on and you can leave your shoes on. Like we used to before right. Richard yeah. Reed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, don't know. Um, I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> I kind of would like it. They yeah. they also said, uh, Mr. Oh, hi, Mr. Hello, Mr. Jones. Like, they knew who he was. And then he said the biggest thing was... When he went through the metal detector, uh, he said he went through, heard nothing, and then after he came out the other side, he heard, meh, and they were kind of chuckling and laughing like they set it off on purpose after he went through for further harassment of Alex Jones. Like I said, 20% of what he says, I'll give him 20. 20. Now it's 20. And I'll give him the 20. I'm going to be 10. fair. Yeah. But the 80% is a yeah. little far-fetched. He's got something going, though. I, I watch his videos. They're hilarious. When he's he's got the handheld cam. Like, he doesn't set up a tripod and, and talk into the camera. It's got to be handheld to have that, that gritty, like, yeah. moving look. And then at some point, he gets out of his chair and steps right up to the camera and finishes, like, what he's saying. Like, it's very important. Oh, were, my God. Were you here that day? Because we yeah. did the... Yeah. We, oh, okay, you are. Yeah, because yeah, then he dramatically stood up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And start pointing right in the camera, and he was moving, and the cameraman oh, had to, like, get crazy. out of his way. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he was on with Piers Morgan. And, uh, look, we could certainly argue, you know, gun control again, no problem. Nah, everyone but this, stance, this clip Piers. is just hilarious. Yep. And I want to make sure that comes across without getting too serious here. Because uh -huh. it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, why don't we play it from where you're at? I, I think we could play the whole thing. I know you cut it up for us nice here, Sam, but I don't know. It's just too damn good. Portions of gun rights, and it's led to a petition on the White House official website, no less. It's entitled, and I quote, Deport British citizen Piers Morgan for attacking Second Amendment. Take a look. More than 104,000 people have signed it so far. And joining me now is one of the people <clears throat> behind the petition, Alex Jones. He's host of the Alex Jones Show. Welcome to you. Pierce, thanks for having me. Why do you want to deport me? <laughs> well, we did it as a nah. way to bring attention to the fact that we have all of these foreigners and the Russian government, the official Chinese government, Mao said political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. He killed about 80 million people because he's the only guy that had the gun. Pause. Is that a real number? 80 million? 
Um, I don't know. What, Mal? Yeah. I think so. 80 million. Yeah, a lot of That's fucking a lot, lot, of lot of Chinese over there. <laughs> and he barrels through, so you can't even. He'll he'll give you so many facts within thirty seconds that you can't even keep up. Yeah. Well, facts or just well, numbers. <laughs> what, yeah. he would, he, what he would present, right? As right. his facts. His style is tough. A Piers, because you want to stop him after every. You have to, yeah. Every fact and and, yes. and ask a follow up question, but he knows that. That's why he keeps plowing through. Because right. then it sounds like he's giving you more than you can handle. Right. Instead of the fact that it's hard to be rude and just go hold on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we did it to point out that this is globalism and the mega banks that control the planet and brag that they've taken over in Bloomberg, AP, Reuters, you name it, brag that they're going to get our guns as well. They've taken everybody's guns but the Swiss and the American people. And when they get our guns, they can have their world tyranny. While the government buys 1.6 billion hmm. bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota. The Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. Take the women in India. Your piece earlier on CNN I was watching uh, during Anderson Cooper's show didn't tell you that the women of India have signed giant petitions to get firearms because because the police can't and won't protect them. The answer well, is, let's, let's hey, wait a minute, I have FBI yeah. crime statistics oh, that come out a year late, 2011. 20 plus percent crime drop in the last nine years. Real violent crime because more guns means less crime. Britain took the guns 15, 16 years ago. Tripling of your overall violent crime. True, we have a higher gun violence uh, level, but overall mugging, stabbings, deaths. You, those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many limos you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We we will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows, no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. My family in the Texas Holy Revolution against shit. Santa Ana, my family was at the core on both sides starting that. Because Santa Ana Santana came to take the go. guns at Gonzales, Texas. Oh, yeah, Pierce, go don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the republic. Ah, ah, he's ah, a good talker, on. Alex. Of course oh, he is. Fuck it started Alex. off all kind of normal. I like when he put his finger out and started yelling at Pierce. <laughs> ah, the Republic. You think Pierce just knows, though, like, like this is really good what he's doing right now? Like, yeah, as yeah, a broadcaster, yeah. he knows, right? Pierce, for his show, he knows. Pierce is a show. very, very smart broadcaster. He's sitting there going, hold it, I got gold. For the, for the, I got for gold. the show. He knows for the show. It's good. Of for the course show. he knows. That's funny. You finished? Yes, I am finished. You will not take my life. You go through background checks to get guns. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's the big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, oh, got to cut that off, don't you? Don't, don't want to talk about the U.S. Tell number one cause of death is suicide now because they give people suicide Calm mass down. murder pills. Calm down. Your suicide answer is get mass murder pills. Your answer is psychologists Let's... who put more crazy people on Let's... drugs that make them kill people, Pierce. Let's try and have a debate here. Yeah. Answer me this question. Yeah. I'm sick of the same old script here, Bob. It's fine, bud. How many gun murders were there in America last year? Do you know? Uh, there were about 11,458, and about 74% of those were gang-related, gangbangers shooting each yes. other. You get three and a half to 4,000. Okay, How question. many people died from infections in hospitals? 197,000. <laughs> That's right. Alex. How many gun murders were there in Britain? How many year? great white sharks no. How many kill people murders? every year, but they're scared to swim? Right. How many gun murders were there in Britain? A very low amount. I already went over those How statistics. Many, you know? I was only a few hundred. No, no. How many gun murders? I actually actually did pull up the statistics. Here, let me pull them out right here. I figured you'd do that. Gun murders. Oh, wait. In last UK year. violent crime, capital of Europe, London no. Telegraph. Here, let me it's give you more. It's quite a simple question. <laughs> hey, well, let me give you more. Old, very loud that's the old, no, no, that's the oldest Perry Mason tactic to ask me some little factoid. It's not a, it's not a little factoid. I already said earlier, We're talking about England a has a lot lower gun let crime me, rate because you me, took all the guns. Let me try exactly but my But you've point. got hordes of people burning down cities and beating old women's brains out every day. That's ridiculous. They arrest people people in England that's and they defend themselves, statement. that's on record. My God, you've got a total police state. Everybody's <laughs> fleeing that country because the oh, you've had to flee here, bud. <laughs> Why don't you tell folks...
<laughs> you better be here, bud. <laughs> Go back just slightly. Oh, is that barely, hilarious? Barely, just a little tick. Yeah. Who doesn't fucking love Alex Jones? He's I love hilarious. It. I love it. I, and I love the fact that he has a Hitler hairdo. Yeah. Alex Jones has a haircut exactly like him. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. He's very, very entertaining. I think this is the part where he starts attacking peers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Country, because the oh, you've had to flee here, bud. Why don't I you tell folks? Here. Yeah, you fled here. Hmm. Why don't you go back and face the charges answer, for the hacking scandal? Answer the question. How many? Why'd you get fired from the Daily Mirror for putting many, out fake stories? Oh, many, you're a hatchet man of the New World Order. <laughs> you're a hatchet man. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? L have me back with a boxing ring in here, what? and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. <laughs> you know what? Let's try again. Jolly how Ranchers. How many gun murders were there? Oh, you're gonna ban your fist now? In Britain last year. <laughs> uh, how many uh, chimpanzees? can dance on the head of a pin. I already went over those statistics. Do you know the answer? Uh, no, I don't. I've you said hundreds. It's very low. You said hundreds. Yes. It's actually 35. Okay. Well, the point is you can... I guess 11,000. Do, do you understand hey. the difference between 11,000 Yeah, England wants 35. to ban knives now because tens of thousands are getting stabbed. Right. But do you understand the knives? difference? The knife doesn't a, kill people. Do you understand? The gun doesn't kill people. Yes. Listen, do you understand, do you understand you're not going to pull on America's heartstrings? They know your script, mm. okay? You're not going to get our guns. By the way, you guys always say, we just want to take the semi-autos, okay, and all this other stuff. When semi-autos aren't even, uh, mm. rifles aren't even used, but in a fraction of the crimes, you can pull those numbers up, yeah. okay? Uh, well, no, which, no, no, hold which, on. Though, well, let me ask you one question. Which weapon was predominantly used in the Aurora movie theater? Oh, shooting? stop. Uh, M4 AR-15 variant. So it was a semi-automatic yes, assault rifle. Yes, again. Okay. But Next statistically, question. it's Next, very, very Next, low. Rob, can point real quick? Do you agree? The only problem with Alex Jones is, like, you got to let him at least go back at you. Like, a little bit, you know even what? though it's being very no, entertaining. It's great. It's fun to hear. He doesn't let you talk. We've had him yeah. on the phone, yeah. and he did the same thing. He does thing. the exact same thing. you got to kind of let people in there. But he i got to get my point out. I'm just going to fucking ramble over you. And that, that's To have it. a fair debate, but that's... Yeah. That's the, he doesn't. Care he doesn't want that. a fair debate. He, he, so. wants to get, <laughs> no, he don't give a fuck. He wants to get his point across. He doesn't give a fuck. All right, fair this is really. He's got a really good business. I'm it's sure he'll, he'll plug Info Wars and all that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. writing down some of my favorites so far. Oh, okay. Uh, so far, I got globalism, globalization, globalism, global, <laughs> weird tyranny, ah, tyrannical governments. Yes. My favorite, though, is the next two. Suicide mass murder pills. <laughs> Where do you get those? And hatchet man of the new world order. <laughs> You're a hatchet man of the new world order. If there was some kind of rock festival, oh, I'd see these bands. That's I'd, like a I'd yes. go see Suicide Mass Murder Pills. <laughs> that's a fucking band list. That's the second stage. Where is that? I think it is the second, second stage. Second stage at Lollapalooza this summer. <laughs> Continue. Single biggest shooting in the history of America in terms of people hit by a shooter. Do you know that? No, I believe that there were others. No, no, it's, some it, no, no, it's not about a, over thirty. No, no, this was the single biggest. Mass shooting. Well, listen, you're just going. No, there have been bombings of Wall me, Street. Let me ask you a second. Are question. we going to listen? Why can't the let pilots have firearms? Question, we trust them to fly the planes. Alex, you've had a lot to say. <laughs> no, just my point is the, the Second Amendment is sacrosanct, do you know, and you're not getting do you, it. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall mass shooting recently? I understand that people. Uh, who are mentally ill on all the serotonin you know, reuptake you know inhibitors who the play question. these shoot 'em up games Alex. want to go out and do this. Alex. Because there's criminals, I don't Alex. lose my rights, Alex. Peter. Alex. Because there's criminals, Alex. I don't lose my rights. Just answer the question. Yeah. Do you know what the weapon used was? Listen, let me ask you a question. No, no, answer. I've got the FBI Alex. statistics that, listen, <laughs> no, no. that okay. the so called semi autos that you talk Let's about. Take a break. Let me come back. Again, you're not going to get our guns. When we come back, try and answer my question. Yeah, all okay. you're going to do is sit there and play little factoid questions. Overall crime yeah, has gone over 20%. <clears throat> it, I, I know why uh, Alex Jones doesn't want to get into that discussion. Because it is one of these things the media does and Pierce does. Uh, oh, you get, you get the fact that, um, you know, a, a, a rifle is used like that, an assault rifle is used uh, in a mass killing. But statistically, it's so low it barely registers. 
He should, but he has the point. He he's making those points. Yeah. But he should like let him get it a little bit, and then because it looks better if you allow him yeah, to make yeah, his yeah. point True. and then counter it with something like True. that. It, lo- it looks because he has. It, he definitely knows. You hit him with the knowledge. He, yeah, he's not a dumb guy, Alex. He has a great argument. But, he's but, like a Nugent type argument. Which take some of the yeah. take some of the energy out of your delivery and just hit him with the knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Pierce's whole point is you know trying to get him to admit that semi-automatic rifles are a much better way to kill more people. Um, than any other weapon. It's true, sure. yes. But just because that's true doesn't mean you have to give up your right to, to own one. Also true, or, yeah, I agree. You know, uh, like we brought up in the past a lot of times, there's plenty of other things that have killed many, many more people than uh, guns on the whole. And as far as rifles go, that's really just... it's. I'm sure the people that have been killed or, or know people that have been killed by these rifles don't want to hear it. But the truth of the matter is, just based on statistics and not emotion, it's a very small fucking number. And like he said, the gang violence that uh, is going on in this country is the majority, the large majority said, of the gun violence. He said 74%. Is that it's true? Amazing, yes, it's crazy. But is he against uh, mental health checks for buying a gun? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I Let's, thought he said I something mean, about mental health checks. But but there, it, the, the, a lot of states already have that in place. Whether you want to do it in federal How do they all not or have state it? rights, I don't know. But why don't they then, then all allow me to go in and, and fucking go from state to state? I'm not allowed to. State rights, as far as the, the Second Amendment goes, it's all about states' rights. They have the ability. And cities' rights to, to curtail uh, firearm ownership. It's amazing. But to have a single... Uh, restriction over people buying guns federally, I don't think you're going to see that because a lot of states that don't have any regulation don't want regulation. It's I, that's, their right. See, to me, though, they but their right to not have regulation infringes on other people's right to safe existence. I, I think that if you have some kind of regulations and some kind of fucking background check, any state without a, a, tr- a mental health check on people buying guns is simply a, a disgusting, we, We've heard about the mental irresponsible. health check thing. It's the criteria for a mental health check is impossible. What What is a mental health check? Where's the line between this person was feeling a bit melancholy today and clinical depression? Where do you judge when someone's allowed to have a gun based on their mental state or not allowed to have one? Who's the one that tells you that that's what it, it, it is? A doctor is now involved in getting a gun? It, I don't understand well, wh- wh- how you would do this. Well, the people who are for gun control are typically against having a, a mental health database, which gun advocates argue, like, they don't even want a mental health data, which I think there should be one. Would you want a mental health database that is open to the public just for guns, or then all of a sudden employers are able to look in? How about this fucking website that opened up that showed people that own guns in in, um, Putnam County? They actually had a list of little buttons that was like, this guy owns a gun, this guy owns a gun. Now you want your mental health records to be available to the public so that they could uh, shun you from having a job or or, uh, uh, having kids or adopting or whatever. No, but the option, there has to be a way to do it. First of all, medical records are not public. Uh, they're not public. Of course not. But then if you add them to a gun ownership thing, they would become public record, just as my pistol permit is public record. My address is up there. Someone could look it up based sheerly on the fact well, that I what? own a gun. You're a guy who I would be okay with owning. Honestly, as crazy You're as crazy. you are. <laughs> Because I think you would meet the responsibility, but people who wouldn't meet that, fuck them. I don't want them What's owning. What's the oh, criteria? Oh, That's the hardest. Well, let part. me ask you this: uh, yeah. the the kid in Aurora, uh huh, would he have passed a mental uh, check? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. But again, a mental check. What does that mean? Well, I'm just yeah. How they would they have yeah, gone about the it? Is what I'm asking. What's the I mean, criteria? I don't know. If the we point have is, we all know. A lot of crazy people. A lot of crazy people. Or just a basic, like a weirdo. You know what weirdo? It doesn't mean he's going to shoot up a theater, but does that fact that he's a little off and it can't even be clinically diagnosed, but you know he's a little off, do you stop him from getting a gun? Yes. How? (laughs) I I, I, I just say yes. But like how? I don't know how, but yes. Uh, I would like that person not to have a gun. Yes. Jim, I would love if crazy people couldn't get guns. I would love it. But how? What's the criteria? It's a good question. It's very difficult. But be- I, I don't have 100% the answer. It's a great area. I don't, it, it doesn't mean that there's not an answer. It doesn't mean that, some, that there shouldn't be some kind. I think that there should be uh, 
mental health, some sort of a, a national database for people who are truly, I mean, dangerously fucked up. Not people who have had moments of depression or. But that's you saying that. Yeah. Now, if you have had moments of depression or anxiety, I or can't what own have a gun. You. I'm not qualified to own a gun. Not qualified to own a kitten. <laughs> <That's> terrible. <laughs> I, I'm. I. I personally believe that I am not. I mean, legally, right. I'm allowed, but I've been too suicidal, or I've been too mm -hmm. uh, too many anger issues. Like, I firmly sure. believe I should not ever own one. Uh huh. Um, and I know that about myself. So I, I don't know what the criteria would be, but that because that doesn't mean that there can't be one. It's complicated. It is it's, you're right. It doesn't it's mean there can't be one. But it's so subjective. Mental health is a very subjective gray thing. It is, but there are things that we all agree on. Maybe not a lot, but there are certain people we all go, yeah, no. Well, you know what? I could do the same thing about criminals. I could say that person is a, 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 not a, a good upstanding member of society based solely on an opinion, a background of previous trouble. What We do that already. Felons cannot own guns. So that's a start. So maybe if you've had certain uh, legal issues due to mental health, that puts you on that list. So maybe that does not mm -hmm. make a complete list. Right. But, but it's a partial list. But as a society, so we coddle the mentally ill. Yes. To begin yes, with, so. yes. And their rights will be infringed upon just because we of their mental health. Completely you know, I, I, protect yeah. them. Yep. Yep. Completely. Yep. Yeah. Can we go back to part two of this? Please. Alex Jones on Piers Morgan giving us oh, some damn. great TV last night. Here's how this is going to work, and it's entirely down to you. I'm going to ask you some questions. In the spirit of a proper debate, and you've had a lot to say so far on the show, and a lot of it aimed at me, which is fine. But I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to proper. trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in your okay. victims up front. Actually, actually, no. <laughs> Look, you got your little note cards. Yeah. Okay. I just gave you FBI statistics <laughs> that violent Alex, crime Alex. and gun crime <laughs> is down right over 20%. Back. Let me just ask you And this. you want to go to little factoids. No, they're not little Anybody factoids. can pull those up. Listen. Do you know what? Do you listen. have a bodyguard? Alex. Why do you have bodyguards? I don't have a bodyguard. Yeah, I've seen you on the news with them. I don't you want to protect your wife from hoodlums or you want to call the police? Let me ask you this question. Why does Diane Feinstein? until 60 Alex. minutes that she okay. plans Alex. to try Alex. to take Mr. and Mrs. America's guns. Stop you talking that over me. You Let guys me. want to disarm all of America. No, I don't. Diane Feinstein's no, don't. bill does I don't. gun confiscation. No, let me clarify for you. You don't seem to understand First what you register, then you confiscate. It's no. always done the same. Here's what the campaign on this Well, here, show. give me your little cue cards no. and I'll answer your questions. What was the <laughs> weapon used at Sandy Hook? <laughs> I've already gone over that and already annoying. answered it for we you. We haven't talked about Sandy Hook. No, again, what was the it's a 223M4. Right. Again, it's but statistically, right. they're using very low percentage of, of shootings, but period. Are you, are you but seeing, you guys, are you people wouldn't go swimming because the movie Jaws, the biggest, even though great white Alex, sharks kill five people Alex, a year. Alex, you're trying to scare people. Let me say something. There's no metal shark in the water. The same <laughs> type of weapon was used in the last yeah, three that's right. mass shootings. And Hitler used semi-autos to kill people. Why would you and not? so did Mao. Why would you? Why is the government arming the teeth you, against us? Alex, I don't what know. What about Fast and Furious? Alex. Why do our government ship guns into Mexico? Alex. To blame the Second Amendment? Let's have a debate. A false flag? Alex. To blame the I Second Amendment? Down. I get accused. Why are they blowing buildings down the street here Alex. in New York? I get accused <laughs> when I get you guys on of talking over you of being rude. I'm trying to be civil. Yeah. Right? You've got to try and answer some of the questions, right? Here's my issue for you. Why do people need civilians, need an AR-15 type assault rifle? Why okay, do you I already said them? statistically they're used in a very low the amount of the crimes. That's an FBI fact. They've been used in the last three mass shootings. Yes. Be, why I'll tell you why. Them? Because they advertise it in the media. Anybody knows that if somebody jumps off the Empire State's building, they put cops up there the next day because copycats come to do it again. The media hypes and hypes and hypes. Well, the They'll just commit suicide. Alex, why do people They'll commit suicide it? by killing a bunch of kids. Yeah. And here's the gun to go. use because it's the one the U.S. Army uses. Why do people need them? It's a great point. They need them to protect us from the number one killer in history. Mm -hmm. Government in the 20th century university uh, study out of Hawaii killed 292 million people. It's called democide. Google it, folks. Do you believe everyone in America? Should Google everyone it. in America yes. therefore have, yes. a, have an AR-15 if they want one? Yes. Statistically, where there's more guns, there's lower crime. Mm -hmm. The highest crime is in Bloomberg. Uh, you know, but you have the most controlled guns areas. of any of the 23 richest countries in the world. And you have twin, twin Well, 11, America was born gun on guns and whiskey. Right. Yeah. But it's you, true we're a violent society. Right. You but said statistically, that America has the most knives guns kill and three the most times gun more. Have you seen the FBI numbers? <laughs> knives, bats, rocks kill, kill, you kill you many, many, many times Alex. more. Alex. For someone that does not trust the government at all, uh -huh. 
and has zero <laughs> faith <Yeah. laughs> in the government's ability to tell the truth. He sure has faith <laughs> oh, yeah. in the FBI statistics. Wow, Jimmy, that's Very good. good. That's fucking good, Jim. <laughs> I don't know why he puts any more stock in the FBI statistics as they are part than the 9/11 fucking investigation report of the same right. machine. Right. Very good. That's yeah, a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk it's about not the, the gun. It's not the rock. It's not the right. knife. When a mother chops Alex. her kids up with a cleaver because she's on serotonin. Alex, tell me why I'm wrong. Why don't you want to get AR rid of the drugs? Because they're half your sponsors. Then stick to the subject. America's number one cause of unnatural death now is suicide. Okay. Alex, not not automobile accident, not cancer. Not, you listen. accuse me of attacking the Second Amendment of the Constitution. I want to get people off pills that the insert says will Alex. make you commit suicide Alex. and kill people. Alex. <laughs> Let's get a the second. I want to blame the real culprit. Alex. Suicide pills. Alex. Mass murder pills. Okay, let me ask you one question. Your belief, unless I'm wrong. First time Alex. anybody's ever heard this, by the way. Your belief, unless I'm wrong, is that under the Second Amendment, your real concern is that you will be overrun by a tyrannical regime, yeah. either from somewhere else. Yeah, highway checkpoints. Look at Mexico. Total gun ban for the citizens. Highest crime rate in the world. 57,000 people dead the last five years. Total gun ban for the citizens. But you, you're Switzerland main... has the lowest crime rate Alex, in Europe. Alex, your country has Alex, the highest. Alex, we have 35 gun murders a year. You have 11,000. You, you people Alex, get their brains. It's the higher crime Alex, rate. Let me ask Violent you. Violent crime is higher. On this specific. It's brains. Alex, it's people. I'm trying to get inside your brains. Fierce. It's if not you punch me right here. now, it'd be not your fist, Alex, but your brain that does. Alex, let me get inside your brain. <laughs> okay. Okay? I'm serious. You have a very, very big platform. You air, I think, on 63 networks. No, no, that Wikipedia is like 10 years old. I'm on over 140 <laughs> stations. XM, Millions of Americans hear you. Over a million and a half day. visitors to InfoWars.com. Right. Like, where we have the statistics posted right okay. now. Okay. InfoWars.com. Who do you believe was behind 9 11? Oh, I absolutely know. I have the police on CNN saying, get back, they're going to blow up seven. Oh, I have BBC Jesus. reporting. Who do you believe is behind? I have the proof. I heard them on CBS Who? Radio. Oh, Alex. They announced they blew up the towers on CBS Radio. You New Yorkers all saw it and heard it. Alex, who do you they believe? They blew up Building 7. Alex, who do you believe was behind it? The American government? Criminal elements of the military-industrial complex, the same ones that staged Gulf of Tonkin, mm -hmm. the same ones that staged Operation, right. the mass shootings. I like Operation where he's Gladio. going with this one. Wow. Thank, Thank you for your service. Like Alex, this right now. Hope, uh, do you uh, mean he, he loved the last point he made. Go back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he made a point on who's uh, doing the school shooting. Oh. Military industrial complex, the same ones that staged Gulf of Tonkin, mm. the same ones that staged Operation, right. the mass shootings of Operation right. Gladio. Right. Ooh, do you, the CIA do you don't mean, like this Alex, right Alex, now. Do you mean the President <laughs> the Bush CIA don't like this? That's right. They don't like this. Neither does the FBI, yeah. who I'm quoting a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's CIA's bad, FBI good. Right? Yeah, bad, FBI good. <laughs> Operation right. Gladio. Right. Ooh, do you, the CIA do you don't mean, like this Alex, right Alex, now. Do you Operation mean Gladio's Bush second album is fucking mint. Behind none Great. Of I mean that like even mainstream LP. news <laughs> reported that the hijackers were ordered to be allowed into the United States. Michael Springman, the head of the visa department, with <laughs> a whistle like on that. So the Bush administration was part of a conspiracy. <laughs> well, to he murder, said never let us tolerate to murder, murder, to murder Americans. To murder, um, I can speak in this accent as well. Yeah. The but is that government hit the firebomb his own Reichstag kiss <laughs> to bring in martial law in Germany, mm. April 27th, 1933. That's a fact. Governments have staged fact terror toy. attacks throughout history or allowed terrorists to attack mm -hmm. as a pretext to invade and enslave How many the populations. I, prob I probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. <laughs> I sleep very comfortably uh, outside Austin, okay. Texas, knowing Alex. that I can defend my family. Okay, Alex Jones. Infowars.com. This is the man who wants to <laughs> deport me from the country for wanting to get no, rid of no. it's, it's, it's to point out you're a foreigner, a red coat, outrageous. here telling us what to do. <laughs> what Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The <laughs> communist... <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> Fucking Alex Jones. <laughs> Holy fuck. He's doing his bad English accent right to his <laughs> <Yes>. face. <laughs> that is uh, that is well, some great, great audio. Very, very good. He uh, he said false flag. Google it, folks. Mass, Google it, folks. Mass murder pills and, of course, Operation Gladio. Operation Gladio. Operation Gladio. Great stuff right there. Whew. Alex Jones. But he didn't have a proper debate. No.
Piers barely talked. No, good. <laughs> but, you know what? But it was, good. Yeah, it was good TV. Though. I like the fact that uh, someone gets on there and Pierce just fucking has to let him roll and 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 shut his yap. Yeah. Pierce. But when someone rambles like that, whenever you pause them, there's always a bunch of things you can go back over and fucking. Oh, excuse me. What about? Yeah, we, yeah, we did yeah. that on our yeah, show. That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. We tripped him up. I just thought it was good. But uh, that's two. That's two arguments that aren't even on the same fucking rail. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like Piers was making the argument that, um, ten, all right, eleven thousand gun murders a year in the United States, thirty something in England. You can't fucking compare the two. Obviously, it's a bigger nation here. Uh, they don't allow guns there. So even the fact that there's thirty five is fucking amazing, because uh, they don't allow guns. It's not part of their constitution. Uh, and, and their their culture. Mm -hmm. uh, we do. In order to get that murder rate down to zero, uh, you'd have to do a lot more than just take away legal guns. And and that gang violence, the fact that that's 75 percent of that 11,000 murders a year, that's a cultural problem. That is a cultural fucking problem. That isn't a hardware issue. What? It's a cultural problem. Out of 11,000 gun deaths, 75 percent done by gang bangers. What's that number? Quickly, I would say it's probably three, 20, 30 gun deaths. See, my estimate three was fourths, a little different. Let's call twelve thousand. Then it's three fourths. So yeah. uh, then that, that leaves only 8, four, only four thousand uh, left. Four thousand uh, people that are uh, not hating gang their lives. Not gang um, Yeah, if that stat is uh, completely money. true. Uh, I don't know. And the and the the fact that semi-automatic assault weapons are used in a minuscule amount of gun crimes and gun violence in this country. But that's the one that is the, that's the fucking picture they put up on the news. That's the, the uh, gun that should spur gun control. Well, they got to start somewhere. Well, yeah. The truth of the matter is the, the 9 millimeter semi-automatic handgun is the champion of murder in this country. Uh, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, hey, it's, it's legal. It's not something you can confiscate or ban because it's such... It's a, a, it's a widespread weapon, it, and and it's not this military weapon. It's nothing they can really say people shouldn't have mm. and be allowed to have. Crazy right. people, Jimmy. Crazy people.